Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how to create an emergency light app using MIT App Inventor. So we are going to use the light sensor to create this app and also the flashlight extension. So first let me tell you how this works and I am going to show you the demo of this emergency light app. Now you can see that the light in the room is switched on. So when the light in the room is switched on, the flashlight will not be switched on in the mobile, the flashlight in the mobile. Now I'm going to switch off the light in the room and now you can see that whenever I switch off the light in this room, the flashlight, the mobile flashlight is glowing automatically. And let me switch on the light light in the room again and now you can see that the flashlight stops automatically so during emergency times when the light suddenly switches off and the place becomes dark this the flashlight in the mobile will automatically switch on so this will be very helpful during the emergency times if you are new to my channel my channel is all about creating your own mobile apps free and easily using a tool called mit app inventor which is block based coding and easy so if you want to create fantastic mobile apps, start now by clicking the red subscribe button and the bell icon. As you know, we are going to use the phone's flashlight during the emergency dark times. So for that, we need to download an extension. So here you can see in puraviraapps.com, there is an extension called flashlight extension. I'm going to give the link in the description below. If you scroll down a little bit, here you can see the AIX file or the extension file. Now after you download the extension, let's go to extension and we are going to import the AIX file of the flashlight extension. Now you can see that the type in flashlight extension is imported. Now let's bring it into the designer. Next we also need the light sensor to find whether the room is lighted or not. So here you can see sensors, here you can see the light sensor in the sensor section. So let's just drag it in. Now we are going to bring in a label to show, show whether the flashlight is switched on or off. So I'm going to put this to be at the middle of screen 1. So in the properties change align horizontal and align vertical both should be center like you can see here. Next let's change the text of the label to be flashlight off because at the beginning the flashlight will be off. Now I'm going to make the font to be bold and let me increase the font size of this to be 25 like this. Now let's go to the block section. So first let's go to light sensor and here you can see this block when light sensor one dot light change which means that the amount of light in the room or any other place is changed. So whenever the light is changed we need to find whether the light is switched on or off using if conditions. So here you can see let's go to control and we are going to bring in the if condition. Now I'm going to put we will get the lux and now here you can see the equal to symbol let's put it here so if the lux is greater than one so let me change this to be greater so let me go here in the math blocks and i'm going to bring in this math block and let's change the value to be one so if the lux is greater than one it means that the light is switched on the in the room so the flashlight doesn't need to switch on so what we are going to do is here you can see in the light sensor we are going to Let's go to Typhon flashlight and here you can see call Typhon flashlight dot off. So what will happen is whenever the lux is greater than one, it means that there is that th there is some amount of light in the place and the flashlight should be switched off. Next, let's click here and here you can see the else, which means that if if the lux value is smaller than one, that's what is the in the else condition then what we need to do is we need to switch on the flashlight so let me tell you how this works again so if the light lux which is the amount of light is greater than one it means that there is light in the room so the flashlight sh shouldn't be on else which means that the lux is smaller than one and the room is dark and there is no light the flashlight should be switched on so this is how it works next what we need to do is here we need to set the label one dot text to Whenever the flashlight is off, we are going to put let's we are going to bring in this text block and here you can see we have put flashlight off. Let me just copy paste this here in the block section. I'm going to put it here. So whenever the flashlight is off, it will also show it in the label. Now I'm going to duplicate this and here let me change this to be flashlight on so that 
whenever the flashlight is on it will also be shown in the label one now you can see that the light in the room is switched on so when the light in the room is switched on the flashlight will not be switched on in the mobile the flashlight in the mobile now i'm going to switch off the light in the room and now you can see that whenever i switch off the light in this room the flashlight the mobile flashlight is glowing automatically and let me switch on the light light in the room again and now you can see that the flashlight stops automatically so there are many more apps which you can create with this light sensor which is present in the mobile so if you have any idea related to the light sensor put put it in the comments below of this video and i will make a video for it next do you want to create an app which will measure the temperature using the temperature sensor present in the mobile watch this video and also watch my full course of mit app inventor here